Okay, in this video, we're gonna cover how to build your schemas in the schema builder of V3. So uh, the first thing you're typically gonna to wanna to do is know what website that you're working on so that you can properly group your schemas per website. So for instance, if we were gonna do six packs abs for men, um, we'd wanna know that so we could go over to our schemas and create a group first um, for the schemas we're gonna build for that particular site. So if you click on manage groups and add a new schema group, you can name it um, by the title of the site that you're building your schema for. So once we click OK, that group will now be added and we can begin to start building our schema. So for this type of site, um, some of the schemas that you want might be brand. Um, so you could just click in brand and then it'll load the brand type schema with all its entities of the brand. Now you can fill in as much or as little of the brand type schema as you wish. If you don't want to use some of the schemas, you simply would click delete and that'll be signified by the gray bar uh, showing up through it that is no longer included. Anything else that you do want to include, you would just fill out the box and leave it um, and click save. So for instance, alternate name, we could do um, six, we'll just do a quick one here. Six pack abs description, um, how to get the six pack abs you've always dreamed of. Uh, the URL, you could actually use a full URL. Um, we'll just skip that one for now. We'll skip the main entity, the name of the item. Um, I would make the six pack abs for men. We could delete the potential action. Uh, same as, of course, is like if you want to add any other social properties um, that are part of the six pack abs for men schema, you could add them there. Um, but we'll just delete those for now. The URL of the item. Okay. And we'll just make this a very simple schema. Aggregate rating, we would obviously want to include a logo. You could supply our URL, but we'll just make this one um, the way it is for now. And then reviews, um, we can leave reviews in there. And then once you're done uh, your schema, you would just go ahead and name it. Okay, so this is brand. And then you would select the group that you wanna put that schema into. So on the drop down, you will choose the website you're working on. So six pack abs for men, and then you would click save schema. Now, what you'll notice is over in the left here in the save schemas, your URL has showed up. And if you click on that file folder, you'll see that you now have the new brand type schema for six pack abs for men built in there. Now, if you wanna add more schemas, you can. So for instance, um, we can add maybe organization or whatever you want. It doesn't matter the type um, of schema that you wanna use. Once again, you'd quick click uh, the type that you want. It would load in the editor. You fill out whatever it is that you'd like to fill out. So we'll just do a really quick one here. Uh, we'll just call it six pack abs. I'll just do one just for speed. Okay, and then we'll delete the rest. Okay. There we go. Okay, so uh, actually I gotta delete the rest of the way just to make a quick schema here, just to show you how to add a second type of schema. This one's actually pretty big, so I probably should have chose a different one. I will just try it, save it and see what happens with blank schema. So now um, we're working on, um, this is organization, so I'll name it organization. Okay, make sure that you're saving that schema in the URL that you're working for and we'll click save schema. And there you go, schema has been saved successfully. Okay, so what you can do now is look at your schema as well. So if we wanted to look at just our brand type schema, we could actually click the render schema button and that will show the actual script that will be inserted into your pages uh, or posts or homepage or whatever you decide um, to show you what the schema that you built is um, to, so you can view the schema. So for instance, organization, I know we had a bunch of empty schemas in there. We can render that. And actually that's great, empty schemas uh, didn't get put in, so that's perfect. Um, so now what we can do is add those schema to our sites and there's two ways to do that. First of all, we can go over to the websites tab, okay? And then we would put, um, we would go into our website manager uh, for six pack abs uh, for men. Okay, and then we can click over to schemas and then we can manage our schemas that go in. So the first thing we should do is load the group that we're looking for or search for it. We know we're doing six pack 
So we'll search for six pack abs schemas and I might have to just refresh the page. Just sometimes things cache out. So if you just refresh it, um, it'll be good. So we'll go over to schemas. Okay. And there they are. Pressed refresh. They've shown up. There's our six pack abs for men schema. Now we can put those, we can drag those over. Okay. To our homepage. You notice we're working on homepage schema. We would just have to drag it over. There's our brand. Then we can drag over our organization if we wish. Okay, and that would be our homepage schema because we're on the homepage button. Now, if you wanted to do it on a per page basis, all you'd have to do is go and select the post or the page that you want your schemas to show up on. So uh, for instance, in this one, maybe it would be the sample page. And then once again, we would go into the six pack abs for men group and move over the, per the particular schema that we wanted to put on that page. Okay, so there's an example of putting the brand and the organization on the sample page. Okay, and then what we can do once again is perform the validation of that schema once they're dragged over and it validates your schema and then it'll show you that you have a valid schema detected. So that's how you're able to build your schemas. Okay, organize your schemas by URL, go over to the site you want to work on, click on the schema tag choose the group that you're working on. You obviously are in six pack abs for men. So you select six packs abs for men and then choose whether you're working on the homepage schema or what page of the site you're working on the schema for and then just drag it over, okay? And then you can validate your schema.